Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today I have a very interesting unboxing. I have a package that came in through my Apex group, I think. I think that's what this is. I'm not sure because I don't know really who it's from. So let's go ahead and dig right in. Today I'm opening up with my uh, CJRB Large Pyrite. Uh, this is in G10 scales and with the ARRP M9 proprietary powdered steel from Artisan Cutlery, which is the mother company of CJRB. CJRB is their budget line, but this is such a great knife. If you remember, the regular pyrite was just knife of the year for me last year. And I like the large pyrite, so if you've been wanting a larger knife, here you go. Definitely worth checking out. Oop. We got a double box. All right, so that's a package. Yeah, it looks like there's some writing on the front here, so we'll go ahead and cover that up. Let's get into it. Looks like it's already open over here. So let's see what we got. Oh, we got a QSP. Anything else in there? Oh, look at that. We got some stickers. Oh, unfortunately, these got crushed. Who are these from? Let's see. These are uh, Knife Owl. Owl. Well, I'm not really sure who that is. I'll have to take a look at that because some Knife Owl, it says right there. And then it says, backpack of a knife. Oh, yeah, interesting. All right, I like stickers, so let's take a look. This looks like it's the Lark QSP, 14C28 satin, blue shredded. So it's it's a QSP. I like QSP. So let's take a look what we got here. All right, so we got some QSP stickers. And then we go, this is, all right, so... Here it is. Looks like it's a 7.4 inch, 14C28N. So let's take a look at what we got here. We'll put that off to the side over here. All right, so it looks like it's carbon fiber with blue shredded carbon fiber. And here you can see the 14C28N, very nice. Hidden blade, just about almost completely. Got a deep pocket carry clip, which is really nice, fully recessed. Nice clip, perfect little loop, give you great access. It's reversible with an insert on the other side. So lefties, rejoice. Looks like it could be a front flipper and a regular flipper. So that's really nice, dual deployment. T8's there, what do we got over here? Eh, that looks like T6s, I'll double check that real quick. So let's see. Let's just see, are these T6s? Yeah, T6s there, definitely T8s and then yeah, T6 is there. So T6 is here. So the, the clip screw is T6, and it looks like those are the only screws holding it in there, so that's nice. All right, that's two standoffs in the back. Uh, blade is pretty much hidden. It is definitely a liner lock. I like this, nice and chamfered all the way around. Everything's rounded here. So that gives it a nice, comfortable feel, full, nice grip. So let's go ahead and give it a flip. What do we say? Not bad. Ooh, that is a nice grind on that blade. Wow. Oh, I like that satin finish on that blade. Really nice. Let's do a full grip. All right, so I got medium, medium, large hands, large width-wise, medium length-wise. So definitely have plenty of room here, and I can absolutely choke up here. I uh, wouldn't choke up much more than that, but I mean, that could work if you're doing a pinch grip. So you could put your finger here for a pinch grip, right? So that would work. But you could definitely choke up here. So large, extra large, double extra large hands, I think you could fit that. No hot spots in that clip. I do like that a lot. Especially on the lefty too, feels really nice. Rounded all the way around. This is rounded well, it's not super sharp. That's done really well. Let's look at the lockup. We are at, I'm gonna say a good 50%. No blade rock, it's in there really solid. Let's look at the action. Pretty sweet, and the front flipper works really nicely. Yeah, now for a front flipper, I usually don't like it. I like it a little, little looser. And, you know, this is like what everybody loves for a front flipper. It's tuned really well for most people. I like it just a, just a touch lighter if I'm going to have a front flipper. And I enjoy using a front flipper, so that's my primary means. But for a, for a full flipper, this is really nice. Nice, strong, nice, strong deployment for sure. Uh, but if you're going to do a front flipper, now, your lock bar axis, it is some nice cutout. So there's definitely some cutaway. You have some relief to get there. It's relatively easy to get to. It's not a shredder. You just have to make sure you clear, you clear that flipper. That's the only thing about when you do a flipper. 
you got to clear that here. Sometimes if you're too close, it catches. And the thing about clearing that, you see that it does come down and it can be a little bit of a guillotine. So, you know, there's, there's that trade-off that you get and that's, that's fine if that's what you want. Now, sometimes you can avoid that by putting a finger choil all the way in there. So then you could choke up a little bit better, but they chose for a beautiful blade. I mean, just that is really, really nice. I do like that. It's really cool. It's, it's a pretty blade. The action's very, very nice. I think this will break in super nicely for sure. Yeah, it really will. It'll break in really nice. Oh, I think I scratched my finger when I opened something there. Sorry if you see a little, little, little cut there on my finger. I hope that didn't gross anybody out. So anyways, um, yeah, I think that's really nice. Now, I tell you, if this was my own knife, what I would do is I would probably take this apart. I would tune that detent on this liner lock just to be a little bit lighter because that makes it... It'll drop a little nicer, but the front flipper will work a little nicer. See, the only thing about a front flip like this, see, yeah, it's really hard to, to use, like, get your finger up here and do that. It shreds my knuckle. And when you do a front flipper like that, I always like to have it just a touch lighter for the front flipper because I like to, for me, fidget, fidgety goodness is that. I like to be able to do that. And this, this flipper has enough leverage. So here's a pivot, and it's up high, so it gives you really good leverage for a nice strong flip even with a very very slight axis to it so you can get away with even a lighter detent and still get a nice strong flip on that if the if the flipper was more level with the pivot it would be a little weaker i think so i like that i think that's really nice yeah uh the centering is really good look at that nice and centered a lot of good things about this it is steel liners let's look at the inside steel liners you can see that some cutout for weight relief for sure and that, you know, being a budget knife, I'm sure this is going to come in at a good price. Yeah, steel liners. Yeah, steel liners, you can feel that. Steel clip. Yeah, so, I mean, that's expected, right? And it is, looks like it is, is it stone washed or sand washed? I'm going to guess that's polished, maybe. But, man, yeah, QSP does a really nice job on their blade, that's for sure. So if we take that and we wipe it a little bit, you can see how pretty that is. Let's get a nice close-up look at, at this knife. There you go. Look at that beautiful polish on that blade. I think that's really nice. Really done well. All right, let's take a look at the back. The clip. Let's take a look at inside here. Let's see what the lineup. And let's look at the top right here. See all that room for the pocket clip? And it comes to a nice thin tip, but it's a pretty robust blade, which is nice. So it would be good for poking into materials like dog food, cat food, mulch, fertilizer cases of water bottle. I'm just mentioning things that I do. <laughs> I don't know what you do, whatever you use your knife for, right? It would definitely work really well. I like it. It's 14C28N. That's a great budget steel. My, one of my, it's one of my favorites, not the favorite budget steel that I like out there. Such a easy to sharpen, easy to maintain, retains an edge fairly well. Great, um, great corrosion resistance. Yeah, there's a lot of positives about that. So there we go. Yeah, look at that. It's nice. There we go. Very cool. I like that a lot. Hmm. Nice little knife. I love this. I think it's going to look really good in the sun if you see with the light reflecting here. So that's really positive. Love the chamfering around it, around the corners. Everything's done really well. No sharp edges. That's important. Nice. It's a very sleek design. So it's a very kind of like in the office can be very hidden with a fully deep pocket carry clip. See that? Fully, fully deep. And we are in cage ceramic ball bearings. I'm pretty sure about that. Let me take a look. Here, I'm going to get my flashlight real quick. We'll just... Let me see if I can see that. Yeah, those are cage ceramic ball bearings. All right, so that's cool. Cage ceramic ball bearings. It's got a captive pivot. I do like that QSP logo there, like I said, so that's nice. Um, and even that is rounded nicely, so that's not too sharp. That's really cool. The flipper works well. It's got a little bit of jimping on there, but just enough to get good traction on there, so that works really well. And the front flipper here has some nice jimping all the way up. It does stop a little bit short, but you can get enough traction here below. So if you, if you, you know, push against like that, you can get enough traction, so let's do that again. Not so we're just not trying to see. Works really well for that. I, you know, if you go really high, you could slip off, but you don't need a whole lot of leverage to get that flipper working. So that's nice. 
again, because it's high above the pivot, the leverage and the, uh, the angle on there is, is in your favor, right? It allows you to get a nice snappy uh, uh, actuation, nice snappy opening because of that. If, you know, if this pivot was a little bit higher and closer to that, you wouldn't see that nice snappy uh, action. Now, there's no place to middle finger flick, obviously, because the design here of this one is more of a hidden blade. And I do like that. And the blade is hidden well. Let's look at that utilization of the, you know, pretty pretty well handled to blade uh, utilization of the blade is really nice. And, yeah, that centering is just dead nuts. It's really nice. So, definitely be a knife that you will want to break in a little bit, right? For sure. Uh, yeah, I would definitely... I would definitely tune that detent, and I think this thing would be, for me, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I'd probably put skiffs in there, if, depending on how much this knife was. But I like it. I like it a lot. There's a lot of positive things about this. You know, this is a, an unboxing first impression, so take it for what it is. It's not a review. We'll do a full review of the knife, obviously, at some point. But this is a really nice executed knife by QSP. This is, again, the Lark. I like this. 14C28 blue shredded carbon fiber overlay G10 handle. I do like that. So blue fret, shredded carbon fiber. So it's overlay. So that means it's text, uh, p, uh, peel ply uh, blue shredded carbon fiber on top of a G10 scale. All right. So that's a G10 scale. And then this is an overlay on that. And that, you know, for a budget knife, that's how you make it look nice and still be a budget knife, right? You know, you got to, how, how can you reduce some of the costs? If this was a full piece of carbon fiber, it'd be significantly more expensive. It would not be in the budget realm. But they did a really good job, I think, with that. So that's nice. That is really nice. Just checking it out. Uh, the clip, I mean, for a steel clip, and, and that is just, that's how you do a clip. That is, look at that nice, perfect roundedness. It's going to go in and out of the pocket really nice. I love the standoff in the back. Gives you plenty of room to clean and clear it. And that flipper, man, if you're going to do a small flipper tab, that's how you do it. Because that one just works really, really well. It just gives you a nice snap, right? And even the front flipper works pretty good. Like I said, I would I would like it to be a little lighter on the detent to be able to 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 do more than just a thumb flip, so I could do my finger like here. Uh, see, it's hard to do with, you know, because I've got you got to have just and it, and it it's hard because it strips my my skin off on that side. Let's do this left-handed. Works really nice left-handed. Can we flip it over here without now? If you're lefty, you could go over there and hold that, but it's yeah, it is. It's it's gonna be a little. A little challenging left-handed because you, you know you don't get that same leverage that you would up here, but you can, you can. And left-handed, that's when uh, that that tuning the detent a little lighter. For with left-handed, I can easily put my thumb, my knuckle here, and do that. But man, oof, that's hard. It's a, uh, it, oh, it, yeah. Because it's a little bit stronger, it, it really digs in and scrapes my knuckle because my knuckle runs over that before it gets enough traction to get just in the right spot. If it was just a little lighter. It would be nicer, right? All right, can we do it over the top? Now, I have shorter fingers, so this is where, yeah, this is where, where you have medium length fingers. If you could reach over, you could do it. Mine are too short to do that, so that's out of the question for me. But very nice, very nice. All right, so this is the QSP Lark. Uh, like I said, pretty nice little knife for a budget knife. I like this. We'll, we'll have to do a full review and talk a little bit more about it, but. Pretty, pretty happy that QSP allowed our group. Thank you to QSP for allowing us to check this out. It is definitely a very cool little knife. I have several penguins. I have the Lander, which is made by QSP, and several other knives that are made by QSP that I've really enjoyed and still enjoy very much. So this is definitely going to be one of those, I think. First impressions are good. First impressions are very good on this one. So nice. All right. Hey. I appreciate you guys watching today. If you have any questions about this knife with the unboxing, anything about the knife, maybe you wanted me to discuss in the review, please comment down below. If you have any questions for the channel or any future ideas for Rob's ramblings, please comment down below as well. I do try to reply to all the comments and do enjoy the conversations I have with you guys. It means a lot to me, and it's one of the things I really enjoy about the channel. Um, so, thank you. And if you guys found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, entertaining, or just informative, would you consider hitting the like button down below? If you've already hit that like button, would you consider hitting the subscribe button? Subscribing and liking the videos really helps out the channel, allows me to produce more content, do more things, and, and allows the channel to grow. So, thank you so very much. Hey, if you have uh, any, um, if you've done all that and you haven't already, maybe consider hitting the notification button as well so you can be notified of future content. And, 
Maybe also check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Hey, thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day, great week. Bye.